Question 15. The equation of a curve is given by y is equals to 3x squared minus 2x. Determine the equation of a normal to the curve at x is equals to 2. So we'll begin by sketching this curve, just the sketch of the curve to help us work out. So assuming that that is the curve, that is the curve y is equals to 3x squared minus 2x. If you are to find the equation of the normal, we must start with the tangent. So assuming that the tangent, the tangent is a line that touches this curve at this point. That is the tangent. That is the tangent. And uh, this point where it is touching this curve, so x is equals to 2. x is equals to 2. The normal will be perpendicular to the tangent. The normal is the line that is perpendicular to the tangent. It is important note this that normal is perpendicular to the tangent or the tangent is perpendicular to the normal this is the same thing so the normal is a line that will pass through that point so it will be perpendicular and both of them are passing through this point x is equals to 2 so therefore uh, the first thing that you need to get is this point we have this point where the normal and the tangent are touching that curve we only have the x coordinate, so we get the y coordinate. And to get the y coordinate, we just use the function of that curve because that point is on that curve. So y is equals to 3x squared. So x is 2 at x. Is, so we just substitute minus 2x. And this will give, this will be 4, this will be 12 minus 4, and this will be 8. So this point is therefore... 2, 8. This point here is therefore 2, 8. That point where the tangent and the normal are touching the curve is 2, 8. So we shall begin by getting the, because we need the equation of the normal. For us to get the equation of that normal, which is a line, straight line, we will need uh, one point and the gradient. So how do we get the gradient? We shall start by getting the gradient of the tangent. And I would like the gradient of the tangent to be noted by m1, the gradient of the normal to be noted by m2. So how do I get the gradient of the tangent? I'll get that by differentiating the function of that curve because that point 2, 8 is on that curve. So I get so this is y is equal to the function of the curve, 3x squared minus 2x. So the gradient will be given by, this is the function the expression that is going to give us the gradient. So we get dy dx, we differentiate that. This one will give us the gradient function. And we're going to use the gradient function to get the gradient of the tangent. So differentiate this with respect to x, you get 6x minus 2. That is the gradient function. Now to get the exact gradient of the tangent, because this point x is equals to 2, we just saw at x is equals to 2, just substitute be 6 2 minus 2 and this will give 12 minus 2 which will give 10 so the gradient is 10 so the gradient is 10 that is the gradient of the tangent m1 so having got that we can now proceed and get the gradient of the normal since the normal is perpendicular the tangent you know that if two lines are perpendicular to one another if you take the product of their gradient you should get negative 1. So m1 is 10. So m2, which is the gradient of the normal, will be m2 will be negative 1 over 10. Simple as that. Now having these, we'll be able now to get the equation of the normal. Because on the normal, we have a point. We have a point. It's a common point shared by the tangent and the normal. The point is 2, 8. And we have the gradient. So what we do, we just introduce another general point on that normal. Call that point x, y. So we'll introduce another point x, y on the normal. Then I'll use these two points, 2, 8 and x, y, to get the equation. So using these two, 2, 8 and x, y, get the gradient. Gradient is change in y, so y minus 8, that is change in y, divided by the change in x x minus 2. That is how we get the gradient and you know that gradient m2 it is negative 1 over 10. From here you can cross multiply. You have y 
minus 8 multiply by 10 like that then x minus 2 multiply by negative 1 so this will give 10y minus 80 is equals to negative x plus 2 so i want to express it in the form y is equals to mx plus c so 10y is equals to negative x plus I take negative 80 to the right hand side or I add 80 on both sides to eliminate it on the left hand side. I'll get this one is 82. So divide everything by 10. So y is equals to negative x over 10 plus 82 over 10. And this one we can simplify to y is equals to negative x over 10 plus can simplify this by 241 by 25. So you can write it as uh, 41 divided by 5. And that is the equation of the normal at x is equals to 2.